Hey guys, I'm Aaron Lavoie, Midwestern Hoof Trimmer. So we're gonna take a look at this girl's feet. They're very rolled. She likes me. Oh, your tongue is rough. It's like 10 grit sandpaper, big mama. What's your number? One, two, one, two. So you can see her front legs and how toed out they are. As you see here, she has a lot of heel height on her lateral claw, and that is causing her leg to angle over. So we're gonna fix that. Just gonna wash this off for your guys' pleasure, not for mine. I actually prefer not to get my hands wet or the foot that I'm gonna be running power tools on or be standing in a puddle of water all day long while I'm running those power tools. So hoof trimming is an act of corrective wearing. See, a cow's hoof is formed at a quarter inch per month. Most of that wears off, but not all of it. So the area that wears the least, accumulates the most, and therefore starts to cause even more uneven wear. So cow's front legs automatically go in and out a little bit. Some are worse than others, and that's due to genetics. But as you can see here, she's accumulated lots of hoof on her lateral heel, and that is leaning her over, causing excess wear in this area. So let's see what I can do with this foot. So I'm gonna start right off with her lateral claw and I'm gauging off her axial wall that's why we don't need to wash the foot because we're going off of measurements and angles just wash that for you guys I'm going to be leaning this claw this way this claw this way and that's based off of her axial walls I'm also going to be checking her length this one is pretty close I'm just gonna take a little off the end this one has a little bit more length but again we're just taking off what's not wearing correctly Okay, so we've got our bases, length, angles, and thickness. We're not finished with this. We're gonna use a knife for the rest. This is what we call heel horn erosion. And that is just because she had so much heel accumulated here that it was starting to break down a little bit. This is what we call dishing and modeling. And what we do that for is to allow the manure to pass in between the toes without the walls being compacted with manure. So we give it a little special attention. And now we have to check this area out where her hoof is kind of peeling. It's loose, detached, hoof horn. That means it's a liability, not an asset. talk about this powdery hoof horn here what is that that's called pit um, what causes pit a lot of times it's the environment they're in but this girl has actually got a little something else going on there see her lamina which produced the hoof horn that are contained in the corium were having extra pressure so they weren't producing good quality hoof horn again we're corrective wearing we're not just making the foot smaller that all cleaned up really nice let's put it down and see how it helped her leg angle all right right off the bat i can see that it's much straighter okay if you look at her front right foot now how much straighter it is Remember, that one was way off before we started, worse than the front left. All right, let's get this one. Again, this one's very similar to the other one. I'm gonna watch it for you guys quick, just so that you can see things a little better. Now I got this wet hand though, so 
So this one going off the walls, we're gonna be making the same corrections. A little bit inside, a little bit inside. This heel height is causing the extra pressure here. That's why that white line's all cracked and broken down. Actually, I was just at a hoof trimming conference. I picked up this wheel. Today's its first day, we're trying it out. I'm going to clean this white line out. Make sure I don't have any rocks or stones in there. It might damage my brand new wheel and blades. Like this one here. All right, again, we've got our length and our balance for the most part. Just going to do a little bit of the knife work, dishing modeling. Fine tuning. gotten rid of all that now that I've used my knife and looked at it I need to angle this way a little bit more and then we're gonna clean this up just like the other foot her excess height on her lateral heel causing breakdown of the white line on the medial heel. That's from the excess pressure. Okay, now, even though the soles of these claws aren't both perfectly flat, the overall plane that's going to contact the ground is flat, even, and balanced for each claw's bone structure. All right, let's put this one down. Check out how we adjusted her legs. Thank you. All right, as you can see there, when oh, she's peeing on my camera. As you can see there, both of her leg angles have tilted. Now she's peeing on my hand. As you can see there, both of her leg angles are much straighter than they were before we started. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, catch you on the flip flop. Bye.